Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's lovely to see you again and as usual, a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. I hope you're all having a great day so far and have had a brilliant week. You know, that's us in February now. I just can't believe it. I mean, where did January go? That's absolutely crazy. I think it's just flown by. But now we're in February and this is my birthday month. I shall be 41 on the 15th. But we won't tell anyone about that. That'll be our secret. So yeah, so welcome back. If you're new and you're not normally here, welcome to you also. And why not consider subscribing just before you leave and click that we notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So I normally start off on Monday all the way through till today which is Sunday and this is just the family meals that we've had at dinner time for the week gone by. Any recipes that feature in Meals of the Week you will find in the description box down below. If you just click on the show more it'll bring everything up down there and I've usually got a selection of your comments at the end of Meals of the Week you know for comments that have been left on my videos during the week so mind to stay on for those if you've commented. So without further ado let's go and see what I made this week for the family meals, starting off on Monday. Starting off on Monday, this was a meat free day and we had these wee bean burgers. So we had a cheese topped roll, this was my burger so I put plenty of hot sauce on mine. Some lettuce, that's the bean burger because I've not got a great deal of flavour. And some fresh tomato, some more hot sauce, a wee side salad at the back and some chips. This was so simple but really nice for a change. I wouldn't rush out and get these bean burgers again but it's nice for a wee meat free day. Moving on to Tuesday, one of our favourites, good old fish and chips. So again with some chips, that's a battered cod fillet. With some garden peas, I love tartar sauce and a wee wedge of lemon on top. Like I said, one of our favourites. I've got a really good recipe for battered fish. I will leave down below in case you want to check it out. Moving on to Wednesday, I mean, it doesn't get more simple than this. I made a penny pasta with pesto, some tomatoes and basil and some cheesy garlic bread. And I also put some grated cheddar over the top of the pasta. Now, I didn't actually fancy the pasta and I had some of these wee vegetarian sausage rolls in the freezer. So I just had a baked potato with a wee bit of low fat spread. These are the Linda McCartney sausage rolls and some sliced tomato and a wee bit of grated cheese and they were really nice. But moving on to Thursday and more pasta. This was a cheese and ham macaroni sort of pasta bake and I just put some panko breadcrumbs on the top and grated cheese to give it a good bit of crunch. Some garden peas and again with some garlic bread at the side. And moving on to Friday, you'll have seen these already if you watched my recipe video. These were the haggis neep and tatty pies. And I had a wee bit of mashed turnip at the side of mine with some mush mushroom, I was going to say. Oh, mustard and cream sauce. And again, I'll leave the recipe for these in the description box down below. Moving on to yesterday, I got some mince from the butcher, so we had mince and tatties. There were only three of us for tea yeah, on Saturday night, so we had mashed potato, that's the minced beef and onions, and some wheat balls of doom, <laughs> aka Brussels sprouts. <laughs> so yeah, three of us for tea on Saturday night, but we love mince. And moving on to today, and I made steak. So with a wee vegetable medley, that's just some uh, tender stem broccoli, carrots, green beans, munch too, mashed turnip, some chips, a couple of cheese and onion croquettes and some fillet steak with a wee bit of gravy on top. And this was lovely as well. That's the, the remained fillet steak, so tender. So thank you very much for watching if you're leaving at this point. You know, hopefully I'll see you again during the week or next week for Meals of the Week. But for the rest of you who are staying on, here's a selection of your comments from this week. The first comment is from Monsieur Lawop and he said, I always hold on to the end. This looks yummy. I'm quite good cook, but rubbish at desserts. However, I'm tempted to try this. And I think I said, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's so, so simple and easy to make and quite quick and absolutely delicious so thank you very much for watching and do let me know if you decide to give it a go next comment is from sheila thomas and she said this looks really easy to make and yes i'm still here 
thanks for sharing. And you'll see quite a lot of those comments on that video. I'm still here because what i done was at the end of the video, I mean, right at the end of the video, because it's quite a long video, I said, you know, if you're still here, if you can put down in the comments, yeah, I'm still here, just so I know, you know, who actually hangs on to the end of the video, because I always find that quite interesting. So that's why you'll see a lot of those comments on that video, just in case you're a wee bit confused because you didn't stay on. So yeah, thank you ever so much, Sheila and everybody else who actually did stay on. So yeah, thank you. My next comment is from Trisha and she said, Hi Cheryl, I'm going to make this for me and my sister. We love this sort of thing. I never knew it was that easy to make. So just to recap, I shouldn't add the cocoa powder until I'm going to serve it. And I always watch your videos till the end. Well, thank you very much, Trisha, for that and for your comment. Yeah, and it was just something I learned as I was researching, you know, for the tiramisu recipe. And a lot of the videos and tutorials that I watched actually had said, do not put the cocoa powder on until you're ready to serve because if you put the cocoa powder on and then refrigerate your tiramisu you know that the, the cocoa powder will turn very bitter so I would just go with that you know don't I, I wouldn't even try it <laughs> just just in case you ruin your dessert so yeah that's what I would recommend so thank you very much for watching Trisha and for your lovely comment it's lovely to see you again and I do notice that you are there you know in all of my videos so it's very much appreciated and I shall catch up with you during the week Next comment is from Carrie Ann Shepherd, and she's written, I'm still here on all of your videos. I really want to make this yummy. Well, again, thank you very much, Carrie Ann, for watching till the end. You know, I really do appreciate it. I think you're quite a new subscriber. I've just noticed you the last few weeks. So thank you very much for watching. It's very much appreciated. And do let me know if you decide to give it a go. Next comment is from Charlie Fleming. Now, I love Charlie. I'm subscribed to Charlie. I've watched Charlie for years and years and years, way before I had my channel. I had a different name then, but Charlie knows what that was. And I will link Charlie's channel down below. He's such a lovely guy, so down to earth, and he's got such a lovely, gentle nature. He's quite witty, quite funny, and I, I just love him. So please go and check him out, you know, and let me know what you think. And he said, I hope you're going to eat that with a long spoon. And he's referring to my tiramisu. <laughs> no, we just had, uh, we just used soup spoons, you know, nothing that fancy here I'm afraid but thank you very much for watching because I know that you love your tiramisu I watched your tiramisu review the other day so thank you for dropping by it really is lovely to see you and I hope you're keeping well and I'll catch up with your videos during the week and I'll for your your Monday meanders and your Sunday stroke Monday inside or outside I'll be there <laughs> so thank you like I said for popping by Charlie lovely to see you your penultimate comment is from JRT and they've written perfect dish for that and they're referring to the dish that I made the tiramisu in I think well yeah you know I've got a few different glass dishes but you know I wanted that sort of shape and I wanted it quite deep so that I had the height so yeah that dish was ideal thank you very much for your comment our last comment this week is from Mohammed Afran and he said wow nice vlog well thank you very much for your comment and for watching because again you are one of my loyal viewers who you know you never miss a video and you always comment so thank you very much for that it is very much appreciated and that's the end of my meals of the week for this week and a wee round up of your comments now obviously I'd love to respond to each and every one of your comments but as you can imagine you know I'm getting hundreds and hundreds every week now and it's getting more and more difficult you know to respond to each and every one of you individually but just know that I do actually read them all and I appreciate every single one of them so until I see you during the week guys mind to take care of yourselves and I will see you soon bye for now bye